Okay guys, so if you can tell by the look of these cans, we've already sprayed this stuff. But we're using boom mat in the floor of this Jeep. And we're going to, well we already sprayed it down and we've done some testing. This is great for uh, sound deadening. So it says for enhanced audio performance. And he did say his stereo does sound right. better. And it says eliminate road noise. And you know, with this being an older Jeep that has like, you know, mud uh, tires. Yeah, it's loud. So y'all stay with us and we'll show you how we paint and spray in and what it looks like and give you our two cents about it. So we're going to be testing out boom map in this Jeep. And uh, if you saw, recently we took all the carpet out. Well, now our floor is a little warmer. So we want to uh, dampen noise and also hopefully reduce heat coming off the road in Florida. And this is supposed to do it. This stuff takes about 20 minutes to dry the touch six hours to completely dry and hopefully it's resistant and doesn't rub off on your feet or we'll have to put in a uh, another type of spray we're also hoping that it helps with the scar sub before we install to make it sound a little bit better so y'all stay tuned and we'll spray this after we get it cleaned up and all the interior out so if you see here we did a test area spray and it's dry to the touch but this has only been here about 20 minutes so if I drag my finger across it I can still scratch it which is not what we want if you look here in the interior our floor looks uh, rather dirty so we got to clean this up really good but best to do that with the seats out Starting to get cleaned out. Let's see. Now we're going to disconnect the uh, fuse before we go ahead and uh, play around with the amp. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. So we have the amp to remove and then we have a lot of cleanup to do. Okay, Danielle's going to try Goo Gone. You know my camera? <laughs> I like a spot. Yeah, it works good. Okay, so with the goo gun, pulls it off right quick and in a hurry. Yeah, it's coming off real quick. We may have to go pick up some more. <laughs> this stuff smells good though. Okay, Brian's almost got the goo gun on the entire interior. Okay, now we're using dish soap to break up the oil from the uh, goo be gone or goo gone. Okay, so the hardest part is prep, right, Brandon? Yeah, it's a little bit. So we got it all goo gone and everything. Everything's clean. It's squeaky. So 
There's no oil. So now we're about ready to get, get some paint on this once it dries. That's too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mm hmm. Uh huh. What? Uh huh. <laughs> Why'd you spray yourself? <laughs> Is that your good shirt? No. <laughs> <laughs> you sprayed yourself. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn the knob this way. There we go. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Alright, face it the right way. There we go. Okay. There okay. we go. You wanna get this? What? Down here? Down here? Yeah. I'll start up here. Yeah? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. And work my way back. Uh oh. Mm. Too close. Not too close. Okay. After flowing air, flowing right way. I gotta get underneath there. And get around it. Mm. Alright. There we go. Fix some of that. Hello, Mom? I said thank you, Mom, for suggesting it. I know, I like this. This is really cool. <laughs> Looking. Look at that. Almost all out. Almost all out? Yep. Now let it dry for a while. Yep, we'll, we'll look at it in the morning after it's drying, but dry, but this looks really good. A lot of prep work, but it looks awesome. So it's been about 12 hours of drying, and this is pretty rock solid. I'm hoping it keeps sound down and heat. And it holds up, well, under floor mats that are gonna be right here. But it looks really good. Is dry now? This is, this is video making. See, this stuck. This oh, is what's wow. gonna happen, Brennan. What? You're way over sprayed there. It's still not dry in these corners. Yeah, it should dry when I'm driving it. I just can't go through it like, like sand or nothing. I'm trying to it out. dole it out here. I didn't know it here. Yeah, but that is the only part that's sticky, is the way yeah. when you over spray. Okay, so after we got it sprayed in, you know, we saw my wife over here. This is not drying very well, it's a lot of overspray. But other than that, it is very dry, very solid. Okay guys, all this stuff right here is going back in there. It's going to get out of my garage so I can put things back in order. Because right now, we have absolutely no room. We have this, my wheelbarrow's out of place, my lawnmower's out of place. Okay, we're getting it back together. Alright, these mosquitoes are terrible. Let's start this tomorrow. Finish this tomorrow. Look at them, there's three of them over here. Stop them. <laughs> they're everywhere. Alright, they're, they're everywhere. Well, 
Brian, you're going to have to move the top to get that seat in. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't want to, but I don't know how to do it. Try not to drag it. Hang on. Okay, I'll slide it in and then you get in front. And this is uh, his friend helping him out here. Peter. Peter. I don't see how you can fit four people in that seat, Brandon. You got two right here and two right there. They must be very small people. <laughs> it was one mosquito and I was freaking out. I got like six of them drilling me. <laughs> you forgot the spacers, huh? Yeah, there's only just a couple of places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that wasn't your head. <laughs> Hey Peter, are you supervising? Yeah. See if he's doing everything right. Oh yeah. <laughs> My son says it needs spacers, but he put all the spacers on the wrong side. Nice. On both sides. I wasn't thinking. Not, not the actual thing. Good, Brian? Yeah. Okay, now tighten the front while it's pinned, and then you can tighten the back, the uh, behind the seat. Okay, safety first. We got the last seat belt going in here. You don't need these. You don't need seat belts? Uh, they're a pain. They're <laughs> that one was stuck. So you want your tunes back in? Uh, no, no, no. No, no. Uh-uh. Good. Now I put two spacers at the back. Yeah, two spacers right here. Yes. And one spacer right here. No spacers. Oh, no spacers. Yes. So I know what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. Here you go. Why do you have this out in like two seconds? Because you gotta try to like match up the holes. Oh, uh, yeah, that one goes into that back one. So this one? Ooh, oh. It's not like that. Scratch anything? Dented it. What? Get there. Oh, that's been there. Oh, that's all good. It's all good. Where does the second hole go to? The thing's slippery. Just try to match up that one. You see that hole in the back? Right here? Yeah, help guide under the steering wheel. I can't see anything. Just drop it in the hole. Yeah, you Piers got it. Pick it pick it up again. Alright, now drop it. There okay, y'all got the seat in. You don't need to bolt it down, it looks good. Yeah, yeah it does. Seat bolts. Okay, the boys are getting the last seat in. Then they put their subwoofer in, and this project is done. Okay, the final piece, they're putting the subwoofer back in. And that ain't helpful. <laughs> there you go. Look at that teamwork. Peter, how much teamwork did you do? I was a supervisor. Oh, supervisor. Got it. Oh. Now, right. now, now plug your wires back in and should be golden. So we got the boom mat in and the floor looks so much better. So if you look down here, it's dirty. But this stuff pretty strong. And the audio enhancement, it's it's dry. Yeah. Much better on the road. Um, we haven't uh, really it's not it hasn't been too hot. We're gonna do a later review, but it is looking good. How long did it take it to cure? Oh, in Florida humidity? This sucker took about six days to that cure. That was the problem. Six days to cure right. in Florida humidity. It was so humid that it just it, it just kept feeling wet, and now it's it feels really dry. So I don't know. Uh, we allowed the seats to come back in and whatever, but it took like seven days, and that's actually kind of longer than what they said it would be. But can you know with our conditions of being so humid in Florida? Um, it was probably expected, so kind of like our boat floor when it wasn't drying. Kind of like my face right see now. That, see that uh, video? But yeah, it's really, um, he says he can see, he can hear a difference. He can hear a difference. And plus, I don't know, we haven't been in it, but 
Our son said he can hear a difference in his radio and how loud his car was before. His road noise. Was before. He said the exhaust sounds deeper. Right. So that would that would uh, cut back some of that res resonation from the floor. So that's a good thing. And plus, it just looks so good. So it just looks black in here. Before it was kind of a rusty silver. Well, because he took out the carpet. See that video. But and then he also took out the carpet in the back, and that's when you needed to do something with it because it was just literally metal. But we did a lot of prep work. We did goo gone to get the carpet glue off, and we also, you know, and then we sprayed. You know, he sprayed a little bit too much on one corner, but we sprayed, and he did a great job. And he can spray much better than I can. So hopefully, hopefully this was uh, informative and. Uh, we did a lot of prep work before we uh, actually painted this down. So to paint, I gave him the idea about googling. She did. She would. She actually uh, showed us how it worked, and that stuff is awesome. And you sit on the boat. See that video? Yeah. Okay. So, but this, you know, works great. Ninety percent prep. Goo gone. Clean the floor. Clean that carpet. Glue off the uh, metal looks perfect and uh i left amazon links down below it helps us out i thank you all for who you order are on our amazon links and also all the support you have given us on our website the recipes that's awesome thank you guys and if you like our channel please subscribe do a lot of hard work. she does a lot of hard work if you like our website, go subscribe there. You'll get notifications for this and that. <laughs> if you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there. Looks like this. You can also hit that little bell for reminders on content we may produce. And y'all please take care because I am sweating my tail off out here. <laughs> Bye.